Keep the Word of God strong in our lives. Keep the spirit of hope and the grace of healing alive every day. This is Keep the Faith, a daily celebration of the Holy Eucharist on Radyo Katipunan. Remain still as we welcome the light of the Word in our hearts. Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to Keep the Faith, the daily celebration of the Holy Eucharist with the Jesuits here on Radyo Katipunan. Today is the Feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of the Society of Jesus, the 22nd of April, 2024. Our presider for this morning is Reverend Father Oliver D. of the Society of Jesus. Let us all rise as we sing the entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, on this special uh, occasion where we celebrate the Feast of Mary, the Mother of the Society of Jesus, this uh, dates back to an event in the history of the Society of Jesus, let us pray that we experience also uh, the guidance and presence, consoling presence of Mary in our own lives. As is customary, let us begin our liturgy by acknowledging our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, whose only begotten Son, as He hung upon the cross, made the blessed Virgin Mary His mother, our mother as well. 
Grant, we pray, that with the assistance of her love, the least society of Jesus, whose companions vow themselves to you in her presence, may serve your majesty in obedience and follow your Son perfectly, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated and let us listen to the Word of God. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them, they will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes, death will be no more, mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. You are the great pride of our nation. You are the great pride of our nation. O daughter, you are blessed by the Most High God above all women upon the earth. And blessed be the Lord God who created the heaven and the earth. You are the great pride of our nation. Your hope will never depart from the hearts of men as they remember the power of God. You are the great pride of our nation. Please all rise to honor the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And And with with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. Standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother, his mother, sister Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. Please be seated. There is a historical context to the feast that we celebrate today. Uh, On September 27, in September 27, 1540, the Pope had just approved officially the founding of this uh, order called, which will be called the Society of Jesus. And some months later, during the week of Easter, I think it was a Friday of the Easter week, St. Ignatius and his first companions pronounced their solemn vows in a small chapel in a big church. Uh, it was uh, The name of the church is St. Paul Outside the Walls. There's a kind of a small chapel there. And on the side, there is an icon, a 13th century icon of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And that was on April 22, uh, 1541. Today, we look back to that event and draw, try to draw some meaning that is profitable for us today. Well, first of all, is that when you talk about the founding of the Society of Jesus, uh, we re- usually refer to St. Ignatius. But we forget that it was actually uh, St. Ignatius in the co- context of his first companions some of whose names uh, even Jesuits uh, barely know. Uh, Kudur, uh, well, we know Lainez, uh, Broet. Uh, we have not written really there much of their biographies, but it was 10 companions there where they pronounced uh, the vows. It was, uh, at the time, just a small seed unnoticed uh, by the world. But in due time, through the work of the Holy Spirit, uh, they would be running a lot of schools uh, by the time Uh, The Society of Jesus was suppressed some centuries later. And so we look at that, what we call now synodality, that Ignatius in the context of community. 
we pray too that like ourselves, we are embedded in a small community where we can share things uh, more intimately. And that is part, really, of our own spiritual growth. The second one is that the presence of Blessed Virgin Mary in the life of Ignatius, and perhaps in many Jesuits as well, is not just uh, uh, a one-time event. Okay? It is uh, a constant, let's say, presencing of Mary under different titles. For example, early on in his life, uh, Ignatius made a vow to Our Lady of Aranzazu for chastity, and then later on in Rome, in another icon, the Church of Gesù, you have there um, Santa Maria della Strada, or Our Lady of the Way. And then here, another icon of the Blessed Virgin Mary in the Church of St. Paul outside the walls, and so forth. Now, if we examine the lives of Jesuits, I am sure that in different aspects of their life, and in our life as well, we find different presencing of Mary. In other words, uh, Mary is there at certain critical moments of our life, uh, guiding us, being present, not in a central way, but in a secondary way. The icon is just at the side of the crucifix in the, the chapel of St. Paul outside the wall. But really a constant presence, a spiritual mother, mothering and motherhood of Mary in our own lives. So we pray that we too will feel that in our life, that, that constant co-journeying, Mary who co-journeys with us, in our own life. And finally, today, we also pray for a renewed understanding of religious life and its work uh, uh, and its, in its life and mission in the church. Uh, I've been thinking about this for some time now. What is really the status of religious life? Uh, studying in, having studied in Europe, I've seen many monasteries closed down uh, and uh, the vocations diminishing. Uh, here in the Philippines, too, we have a lot of um, aging uh, religious orders. And sometimes we pray for more vocations, of course. Uh, but in my thoughts, I'm thinking that maybe this is really part of the, uh, what the church needs today. Not so, much, not so much to make the religious life extinct, but just to create that uh, by shrinking in number, they create a certain space where new possibilities of the spirit will emerge. And later on, having when that thing emerges, whatever it is, maybe religious life will also find a way to blossom again and contribute more effectively to the church. So we trust that this is really just part of the unfolding plan of God. And so we pray then as we celebrate this, so, uh, the making of the vows of St. Ignatius's first companions, that religious life will find its own place and identity in the church and in the world today. Let us now rise for our prayers of the faithful. Building on yesterday's Mass, let us pray that we may listen to the voice of the Good Shepherd who guides us in the right path and protects us from dangers of any kind. For every petition, let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May the Church ever become the house of the Heavenly Father with doors wide open for those looking for God and from which the faithful go out to others to reach the fringes of humanity, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Like Peter, may the leaders of the church welcome the Gentiles and Samaritans of our times, outsiders who are led by the Spirit to the community of believers, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we not be swayed by the voice of strangers, the preachers, whose teachings are not in conformity with the magisterium of the church, and even attack it, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May our faith find expression in concrete, everyday actions meant to help our neighbors in body and spirit, by feeding, visiting, comforting, and instructing them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the Good Shepherd lead the souls of the departed into the eternal rest of God's kingdom. Amen. For those celebrating their birthdays, Samuel Bactel, Father Robert Bellarminus, Rio Mursanto, SJ. For the healing of Annie Hizon, Cherry Ocampo, May Sines, Estela Marina Garcia, Tisha Aganon, Karina Ali, 
Sef Verhel de Dios, Joaquín Patawaran, Abi Puno, Bienvenido Tinio, Carmelita Mina Manasan Lobo, Ginger, Joey, Mildred, and Fran. For the repose of the souls of Father Edgar Martin, S.J., Rene Pangan Jr., Aniseta Antonio de Guzman, Alan Matutina, Aniseta Antonio de Guzman. For the special intentions of Andre and Rene on their anniversary, Dennis Tan, Butch and Nelia Nazareno, Violet, Bebot Araneta, and family, Nightingale Keys, Diego and Joaquin, Dennis and Cell, Nathan Hans, Annie Bautista, Marie Keys and family, Thelma Ali, Lani Singson, Patti Borlongan, Lourdes Garcia, Carissa Singson, Anisha C and family, Grace D and family, Lisa Halandoni, Marge Matutina, Susan Jorge, Kat Carlos, Welvi Cadigoy, Hannah Gonzalez, Yvonne Luna, Marivic Ocampo, Boy, Ignite Ventures, Khalil, and Cyril. And for all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at Jescom and Radio Katipunan, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Grant, Almighty Father, that we may listen to the voice of your Son, who directs the path that leads to your kingdom, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. creation for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life blessed be god forever blessed are you lord god of all creation for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become for us our spiritual drink blessed be god forever Please all rise. Pray now, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, receive the oblation we offer to your divine majesty, and as you united Mary to the cross and glory of your Son, turn our eyes toward him, whom we have pierced, so that seeking his kingdom on earth, we may come to eternal life with Mary, our mother, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For it was your will to give the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of your only begotten Son, as the mother also of the Society of Jesus, so that sustained by her motherly care, we whom you gathered into unity from every nation may serve your divine majesty in every region of the world, may strengthen the Christian faithful in your love, and may proclaim without rest the holy name, your holy name to all people. And so, with angels and archangels, and with a great multitude of saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now, as one family of faith, let us pray together using the words Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation and of faith, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that celebrating the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of the Society of Jesus, we may become participants with her in the fullness of your love and grace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.